Hello, this is Robert Hurlbut. I want to talk about some things that threat modeling helps you with. Threat modeling, first of all, helps you with identifying threats in your system. We all have seen the reports out lately about data breaches and other problems that various systems can encounter. One of the first things that threat modeling helps you do is understand uh, some of those threats and the potential issues and problems that your system may be facing from a security standpoint. The second thing that threat modeling helps you with is it challenges your assumptions. You may assume that you are completely unbreakable, uh, completely secure, but threat modeling is going to challenge that. It's going to help you think more strategically about your system and the security contained within. So it's going to challenge assumptions. The other thing that threat modeling is going to help you with is uh, giving priority to other security efforts. Uh, those who are in the security community understand several of the tools that I list here. For example, pen testing is a great tool. Doing any kind of secure code review or any kind of review is great. And fuzzing by sending data, uh, various kinds of data to a system and see how it reacts all great tools, but what Threat Malay could help you do in these cases is give more priority to the tools and the direction of the tools uh, in relation to finding the threats. For example, I know a company that hired a security company to do a pen test, and the pen test consisted of database checks. They came back with a full report and said, it looks like you're completely safe from database issues. And the client then in turn said, actually, we don't have a database. Well, the threat model would have told them that immediately, that that's not a, a particular area that they should be testing. And finally, it documents, or you should document, what you've learned. Threat modeling is a process to, again, identify those threats, determine some mitigations as you find the threats, and determine what the risks are. And as a result, you should be documenting all the things you've learned, and threat modeling is a great way to do that. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like to know more about threat modeling, get in touch. Robert Hurlbut. Thank you.